I'm Sandra from Plum Good Quilting, and I love applique. So when the Silhouette Studio Cameo um, first entered my life, I was pretty intimidated by it, but I was lucky to have a good friend that showed me how to do quite a few nice things on it, uh, and especially those things that, as time went on, I realized were going to be big help when I did my applique. So I thought I'd show you a few things that I like to do, and I'm going to start with showing you how to put some fabric into the library of your Cameo. And with it, you'll um, uh, you'll go to a manufacturer, and it could be uh, Moda or Henry Glass or any other particular fabric that you uh, maybe like a line. Maybe you have a fat quarter pack from there or charm squares, and you'd like to do an applique that you use those products. Well, you can do that or you can scan your own uh, fabrics into this program. However, I'm going to start with Moda because I sell Moda quite a bit and so I really like to use their products and I'm always have an abundance. So because I do this so often, I thought we'd start with this because in case you didn't know, you can go to the front page of unitednotions.com and at the very bottom where it says downloads uh, you're going to click on that and it's going to bring you to a page that has wonderful fabrics from from Moda and they're going to be listed in dates uh, by dates and the top date is 11 2015 so next November the color days from laundry basket will come in and um, that happens to be one that I already have loaded I'm going to find something that I haven't loaded yet uh, so I can show you how to bring it in. I'm thinking I will probably use something like um, um, maybe Deb Strain's um, Hugaboo. And if you go to the blue scissors and you click on that, it'll bring you to a, uh, a folder. I've got mine on the desktop because that's how I like to drag them in. So we're going to save that to the to the desktop, and it'll come in as a um, zip folder. I'm going to right-click on that, extract them, and put the extraction on the desktop as well. It'll load in just a moment, and you can see what beautiful uh, fabrics they have in that group. Um, I particularly like... Um, uh, the bright colors that show up on the screen because they make it a little nicer. We're going to get rid of a few things by shifting and right key, uh, key deleting uh, because we won't need those panels in here and there'll be some things probably at the bottom that we don't need. We're not going to need um, the these assortments here so I'm going to click on all of those and get rid of those. We're going to right click and delete. Now we have all of these that we're going to load into the library. So I'm going to start with the bottom right, come up, shift and uh, click left mouse, mouse button so that I can drag these onto the um, onto the, the screen that I want. Oops, sorry about that. I want to get rid of my modus screen and this one will go down in just a moment because I'm going to be opening up my library. And down here where I'm going to the book, this is the library. I'm going to find uh, my patterns and I'm going to also draw this in a little bit. Uh, I want to open up my fabric folder and because I, uh, I didn't have this particular hugaboo, and I had to look to see what the name of it was again. New folder, okay, and I'll put H-U-G-A-B-O-O. -O. Okay, so now we have Hugaboo. And I'm going to go right up here and find Hugaboo, and then I'm going to bring that folder up again. I'm going to drag these over into that folder. And it won't take but just a moment, and they'll feed into it, and then I'll show you how to uh, open them up onto the mat for your applique. I 
think they're just about loaded there. Okay, they have. So now we're going to go to the mat. It'll be the show drawing area, and this is where we'll be working. Uh, because I have some things already in my, um, because I have some things already in here, I thought maybe I'd open up something that you could see um, that I've already possibly got something going. Okay, which one do I want to use? Let's use something like this and I'm going to double click on it and it lands on the mat. Now when I right click I can ungroup these and now I'll be able to add something to them that will make uh, make that fabric come in so that I can see what it would look like in an applique. So I'm going to punch on the open the fill pattern viewer and I'm going to scroll down to Hugaboo and these will be in alphabetical order. There we go. Hugaboo. But I want to show you that, um, say for instance, I want to click on this one here and I'm going to move it over here. Um, I'm not sure what color I want that, but say I want it like that. The next piece that goes up to it, I can drag it over there and again, decide what color I want it and maybe I want oh I didn't click it to select it when I select an item it makes it active to receive the fabric and that always has to be done there's the turquoise and then I can select another one and drag it and when I land it in its place I can also decide what I want to do and I think I'll just put a yellow top on it now I'm going to highlight this area by dragging all the way around all three units and I'm right clicking and grouping them. That means now they're all together. No matter what I do, they're going to all be together until I ungroup them. And then they're ready to go in the applique. I could pose this entire applique for you, but that'll be at a later date. I want to show you later how to drag in fabrics that you've scanned your own fabrics and put them into files in your library. But for today, I'm going to say goodbye. Have a wonderful day.